Hello everybody, I'm Christina and today I would like to offer you chair yoga. Chair yoga is a great way to exercise for anyone who has any mobility issues and find it difficult to get down on the mat or on the floor. Also if you're in the late stages of pregnancy or perhaps recovering from some sort of operation on your knee, your joints, maybe your hip. So it's a great way to still get all the benefits of yoga Work out your body, work out your breath, your lungs, everything we do in normal yoga classes. So this is a 30 minutes class. Please follow me and all you need as a chair. We're going to sit like so, the chest relaxed into the back of our chair. And we're going to start taking big, long breaths. Let's take an inhale. Feel like you're lifting yourself toward the ceiling, all of those seat bones. And gently relaxing and just sitting into the back of your chair. One more time, make an inhale. Elevating all of your body, lifting the chest, spreading your ribcage. And again, deflating those lungs, just settling in, maybe even slightly slouching forward. Let's do it again. Inhale. Big stretch into the ceiling. And exhale. Down. Now we're going to free for the arm breath. We're going to breathe six counts in and six counts out. Our adult capacity of lungs about six liters. This is why six counts in and out are very useful to get your lungs to work in. I'm going to ask you to sit back, close your eyes and relax. You can have your head slightly down, whichever way you like. And let's take a deep breath. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And gently out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. Breath, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and out, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take another breath, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and out, one. Two, three, four, five, and last one. Big breath. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Take one more sip. And out. One, two, three, four. From here, open your chest, open your eyes, bring your hands down, and we're going to do big rolls of the shoulders. Let's take a deep breath and move them back. Try to feel like you're pinching your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then we're moving forwards like you're putting big coats on the back of your shoulders, and you literally want to stretch. Big, nice roll. Inhale and exhale. Well done. From here, we're going to do what we call cat cow. It's just a normal half a glass. So on the chair, you do exactly the same back work, just to warm up your spine. On inhale, we're going to round that chest forward and stretch your collarbones. On exhale, round your back, chin down, head down. Inhale, open your chest, look up toward the ceiling. Exhale, round it forward, chin drop down and round your shoulders. Inhale, we're going to move the chest again up toward the ceiling. And exhale, round your shoulders down. Last 
last one. Inhale. And exhale out. From here, we're going to do our circular motion to get a little bit more into our lower back and sciatica to get more blood circulation in that area. With a breath, you're going to go forward and then exhale, you're going to go back. So let's do four to right and four to left. So four clockwise and four anticlockwise. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's go back. Inhale. Forward. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. Go as far as possible. And one more. Inhale. Beautiful. Let's place your right hand down to the chair. You can grab your seat. Left hand up toward the ceiling. We're going to go for what we call a half moon. Inhale, lift it. On exhale, let's slowly, gently move our body to the side. Opening the rib cage and looking underneath our arm, creating a half moon pulse. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rounding again to the right side and the left side. So both sides open up. Let's switch right hand down, left hand down, and heel. And go a little bit further, maybe just starting to be lower. And let's switch left hand down, right hand down, breathe. And we're going to the side, opening the rib cage, trying to look under elbow and look forward. So you opening your rib cage and find space here in the side of the body. And let's come back. From here, we're going to do what we call downward facing dog, just seated. Inhale, lift your hands, hold the back straight, and we're going to hold the diagonal line all the way down. And now let's come back up to your deep breath. On exhale, place your hands behind. Maybe place your fingers if you can adjust from the chair and arch your back. So we're simulating our upward facing dog. Let's do one more time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, leaning forward. Exhale, coming up and opening the chest. Let's stretch to the ceiling. And one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale all the way up and again hands dropping down. Let's stretch the chest and coming back to seated. From here, we're going to try what we call eagle pose, but just an upper body. If you're able and not wide enough to do your legs, do so as well. In eagle, we can place our elbows and wrists like so, so it's like a rope. But you can also hold just the back of your hands in the palm or on your shoulders, all about stretching your shoulder blades. So if you get your hands like this, and also you can place your knees on top of another, so you can deep stretch. And slowly round and forward, stretching your shoulders, breathing into the back. And coming back up. Let's switch the legs and arms and heel. Now I'm going to put the other elbow in front. And again, I can place my hands so I can put them like this. Switch the other leg. And again, inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, round your back. Chin down, head down. Inhale, come back up. Let's open your arms. Stretch them all the way to the ceiling. And exhale down. One more. Inhale. Exhale down. We're going to go for forward fold. Exactly as we do normal yoga. Inhale. And move those arms forward now, dropping them down. Become like a rag and just sitting on top of your thighs. And slowly coming back up. If you are in the latest stages of pregnancy, you can still do that. Just do it very gently. Not going too far back, but just rounding through your shoulders like so, and then winding through the back of your shoulders and neck. From here, we're going to get into mobility movements, which are great for our ankles and wrists, and also for the brain rewiring. 
So first place your hands forward. We're gonna move your hands, your wrists in circle motion outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do your feet. We're gonna move them both up from the go outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inwards, one, keep, keep them low to the floor, just try to do any movement if you possible, seven, eight, and place them down. Now it's a really good workout for our brain, if we can do both hands and feet together, can we move your feet up and then pointing them down, inhale and hands up, pointing them down, holding your thighs engaged, and if you feel you can't do both legs at the time, you can just do one like so. Working on one side of the body and then working the other side of the body. So just count eight counts in, eight counts out. That's it. And we're going to place them both together. Now we're going to do opposite arms and legs. So we're going to move them like this. One, two, three. So it's really good for our brain obviously for our joints and inward. This is where we get sometimes uh, retention, our water retention during pregnancy or just when we're not mobile enough. This is really good to do as well. That's it, and I'm down. We're gonna proceed with the four warriors and crescent lunges, and yes, you can do it just sitting on the chair. If you're mobile enough, we're gonna move to the side, slowly like so, and place Back. So as you can see, it's exactly what we had in yoga, as we call it, our warrior two. If you feel it's a bit much for you and less of you in your hips, just don't just like that. Don't worry about anything else. Let's proceed. We're going to hold those arms up to the floor. And let's do your left hand down, right hand up. So we hold in that warrior over your hand to the ceiling. If you feel you go further straight in an L and stretch from arms away from each other. Hold it for two long breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale in. And exhale out. We're going to move back where we were. Now find your hand which was behind you, right and left, whatever you are using at the moment. And let's move it in circle of motion. And exhale back. So you have a nice big range of the shoulder movement. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Well done. Let's bring this hand forward. Lift them both up along the ceiling, open your arms, and then bring them down in prayer. We're going to take a deep breath. And twist the body toward the chair, toward the back of it. So just making a bit of a twist into our back. Shoulders stretching it all out. And slowly coming back. So hands on the chair. Help yourself to cover to the other side. So it's always useful to hold your hands down. Again, your choice, you can place it back. Or you can just relax it if you have main problems with the hip or just not feeling great in your groin. Always listen to the body. Once we've done the position, we're going to open those arms like airplane wings parallel to the floor and let's all go. Inhale, we're going to tilt the right arm down, left hand up. This is where you are in chair pose, holding, stretching, looking at. And again, if you feel like your body allows it to go further, come to 6 and 12 o'clock opening in your arms. This is what we do in drag one half a class. You're looking up and looking at your thumbs. So this is where your alignment is. Let's come back. From here, bring your hand just behind forward. It is my left now, maybe right. And let's move in circle of motion. Try to follow your hand. Try to find a big circle. Not only in your shoulder, but also in your head. And bring up and 
and back. So we take lots of blood circulation to the left shoulder, blades in the back. One more, and last one. Let's bring your hands together and rise them up. If flexibility allows, it's very useful to bend your elbows and send them behind, stretching your triceps and biceps, allowing the lymphatic drainage to go through your shoulder and also through your arms, where we have arm, the armpits, a lot of lymph nodes. So hold and breathe. And let's come back up, hands together in prayer, and then lift and twist to the back of the chin. So again, if a flexibility allows, you can hold the chair and go a little bit further. Or just hold it for a few seconds, allowing your lower back to stretch. And slowly come back. Well done. So we're going to go over here, place your hands down. Let's have a nice shoulder pull back. One more time. And last one. Well done. Let's take a nice breath into the ceiling. And again, forward fold, dropping your hands down and head down. And then slowly release, coming back up to seat it and relax. I'm going to ask you to stand up now and do exercise on holding the back of your chair. If you feel it's not for you, you can still do exercises seated on the chair. But these, what are um, specific asanas, I'll show you how to do them if you can stand. So we're just going to recover slowly. And I'm going to place my chair just like that so you can see a side view of what I'm doing. So first, we're going to simulate an actual downward facing dog. Moving your feet away from your hips, from your shoulders, and stretching through the lower back. Dropping your head between your arms. Let's take a deep breath. Lift your upper body, and then exhale, push the hands against the back of your chair. Dropping your arms. Breathe. And again, and feel. And exhale, move the tail back. And let's come back and walk your feet slowly toward the back of your chair. Remember, it's always there to support you. We're going to go from here into opening our little bit of workflow, glutes and thighs. So let's work on our calf muscles. We're going to come up on the tippy toes and extend. Hold your hands on the back of your chair. Couple of more bones. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. One, inhale, and exhale. Now let's open your feet exactly hip width, and we're going to go to what we call chair pose in yoga. If you're able to release your hands from the chair, great, if not hold them there. We're going to take a deep, nice breath, moving your hips away, hands forward, stretching the lower back and walking your thighs, and then slowly come back up. You can hold your hands, as I said, in the back, do exactly the same exercise with a little bit of a support here. Come back, inhale. Exhale, stretch those hips away, leaning away through your back, and come back. Just try not to arch it too much. Inhale, keep it back, straight and strong. And come back all down. From here, I'm going to ask you to bring your feet back together again. I'm going to go for press and lunge, moving your right foot back. Bending the front knee and making sure you're leaning toward the chair, but actually sitting right above. So holding those hips. From there, we're going to move both hands up, take a deep breath, and sending those hands up toward the ceiling together, strong crescent lunge. If you feel balance is an issue, place one hand down. From here, once you get both hands in the back of the chair, we're going to release the right leg and right arm. So this is where we're going to start opening your side. Inhale and start pivoting your arm all the way to the side and the back too. So now you can see I am again a warrior. Inhale, we're going to lean toward the chair, opening the side. And coming back up, hands parallel to the floor, or one hand on top of the chair. Behind, dropping your hands, inhale, lift up your left. Look straight into the ceiling, open the back, and coming back forward. Again, the choice, both hands are only one, and we're going to move. Inhale, and exhale, 
legs. So if you feel stable enough, hold both hands above the floor. But if you really need support, then put the front hand on the back of the chair. A couple of more times. Try to really stretch your back. Look at your hands and you draw in a circle. And you're going backwards. And again, inhale. And say, well done. At the end of this exercise, lean to the chair again. Come back parallel to the floor. You can put both hands on the chair and help yourself to step back. Let's go to the other side. You're going to draw your left foot back now. Again, sitting above. So you can get your foot down on the floor, stretch the calf muscle, but for most people, they will find it difficult. So put that left foot of the act both on the floor. And let's again proceed with movement. So from here, let's lift both hands and open the chest. See how you're feeling in that balance. Inhale. And exhale down. Now you're going to take your left hand and left foot. Give it to the opposite side. Let's lean into the chair. Let's open the back. And come back. Left hand into your thigh. Right hand up. Look straight through the thumb. Open the front of the body. And hands gently on the chair. Or parallel to the floor. And we're going to move. Inhale. Exhale. Looking back. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale. So try to do anything from four to eight of these circles. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. Coming back. And let's again recover our feet. We're going to go back into downward facing dog, stretching the back leg. It's also useful to do a little pedal here. So if you do a little pedal, do just like so, rocking the weight from one foot to the other, stretching your back and hamstrings, head into the back, and let's ripple back, walking to the chair. So now we can also do a bit of side exercises, which is always good for our balance and stability. So you can hold the chair as you would do in a ballet exercise or anything like that. It's just for your support. If you feel you don't need it, just release that. You're going to place your opposite hand to the hip and release your right foot. Getting that hand, leg and foot parallel to the floor. That's what we're doing in the normal way. We're going to get your hips in neutral, lifting the knee, holding the core. If you feel this is too much for you, just hold your foot on the toe. There's always modification for every part. So find a way you can feel a little bit of work for the standing leg. So maybe just the toe off the ground, but maybe hold your foot out of the floor position. From here, let's move the knee out and in. So we're working, working your glute, by T band strength of your thigh. Take a deep breath. Out and in. It's like a door opening. One and two. One and two. And one and two. Well done. Let's place this foot down. Take a deep breath to the side. And we're leaning to the chair, holding what we call the full half moon. Doesn't have to be very long, maybe here, but you'd rather look under your elbow and create right shape. And move forward. So make sure you're watching that nice opening of the back. Well done. Let's from here go into what we call balancing stick. In normal Hatha class, you would come parallel to the floor. But from here, we just want to move foot back and body forward. Just this small movement, like a pendulum swing of your upper body and lower body. You're compensating for the weight of the leg of your body and vice versa. So it's a really good exercise to feel connection with your core and strengthening your blood down 50-50 and let's come back to square. From here we're going to finish in a beautiful tree pose. Let's release your toe the foot on the back of the foot on the toe. Open the knee. For balance just get your ball of the foot connected to the floor and one by one get those hands together. Try to release both hands up the foot. Chill, but if you need help, just hold it. 
I'm going to take a deep breath. And exhale, holding the beautiful straight back. If you feel like going further, take another breath. And then exhale, expand your arms, growing those branches of the trees, holding it up. And bring your hands together, foot forward, left down, hands down. We love the pose. Let's go to opposite sides. Just move your chair, we go right here where we were on the other side. Again, hand on the chair if you need balance or help. And we're going to move the opposite leg, your left foot on the toe first. Maybe you stay there, maybe take the foot off the floor, or progress to the full bend knee progression. We hope. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can get the both hands in prayer right like so. Hold. Deep breath. And place your hand in the chair. From here, we're going to go out and in. Working your legs, working your hip flexor, working your femur bone. So, all of those mobility and flexibility muscles and joints. Hold that. And let's place your foot down, take a deep breath, your hand to the side, let's lean to the chair, opening up again into half moon. Again, your choice, it will be higher up, just like that. And hands back. Let's get your foot forward, we do balancing stick, moving slowly 50 50. If you feel like you're going further, please do so. Again, it's just the body compensating for the leg. So you're going nice and slow, moving like so. Well done, a couple of more times. Big breath, again. And last one. Well done, let's place those legs together and we're going to get into other tree. So release your left foot, open the knee to the side, let the toe of the foot compress into your right leg. Lock the knee if you can, and both hands in prayer, unless you need to hold the chair. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale. And let's grow the tree. Inhale. Exhale. Open your hands. Breathe. Exhale, all the way forward, stretching, stretching, stretching. 
Come in back and up. And bringing your hands together in prayer. Head down to make sure that you have a bit of a second to yourself. And placing your hands by your sides. Thank you for being with me here today. This is in 30 minutes chair yoga, which is a wonderful way to exercise for anybody, but especially if you have a little bit of mobility issues getting on the mat. I hope you find that useful. Check out our website www.soyoga.com or on our app, which is a free one on any device where you can find tons of classes for you.